Hey, what's up guys? We're back and it's week four of this training block, Tuesday morning and it's upper body volume day. And let me tell you, today's workout was the definition of volume. We start out here on overhead press, performed four sets at 107.5 pounds from 10 to 12 reps. The first set I got 12 reps, the next three sets I only got 10. But let me tell you, I was so gassed after this. The rep got so challenging near the end of those sets that my legs were actually shaking trying to press the weight up, but I managed to push through and maintain good form and technique. Following that, we then moved on to some three-point dumbbell rows, performed four sets with a 70-pound dumbbell by 12 reps per arm. So that was definitely a solid burn in my lats and biceps there. And then we moved on to some dumbbell chest press, performed three sets at 65 pounds from 12 to 20 reps. Got 20 reps first one, then it was 16, and then it was 14. So that was an absolute grind. My triceps and chest were definitely getting fatigued after that, but we were within the rep range, so that was good. And then we moved on to our tricep accessory work. Started out with hammer grip tricep press downs with the short bar attachment. Performed four sets at 52.5 pounds by 25 reps. And let me tell you, that was a ton of volume, and my triceps were definitely pumped after that. But we finished the workout off with some incline tape press, performing two sets with 15 pound dumbbells by 25 reps. And even though the weight was light on this exercise, my triceps were already super fatigued from the previous exercises performed, but you can bet I'll be feeling that soreness tomorrow, especially in the triceps, chest, and shoulders. So I'm gonna enjoy that rest day. All right guys, so it's Thursday, it's leg day. And uh, let me tell you, this workout was a tough one. I'd probably rate it a nine out of 10. Um, I also did this workout in the early afternoon, so that could have played a factor. But we started out in deadlifts here, performed three sets at 333 pounds by five reps. That is a new five rep max me. And also doing that for three sets, and that's a lot of volume. I was absolutely gassed after this. Um, it's not that the weight was too heavy, but it was more, um, I was feeling this in my lockout. So definitely gotta work on strengthening that lower back. And uh, but other than that, it felt pretty good. And I'm calculating out to about the mid 400s now, so that's very encouraging. And then we moved on to some belt squats, performed three sets at 209.5 pounds by 15 reps. And these are definitely getting more challenging. Um, weight's getting heavier, but we just keep on progressing each week. And uh, these will definitely help and have a huge care over towards my front squats when I add those in my training in the future. And then we finished the workout off with some body saws. Definitely one of my least favorite exercises, to be honest, due to how challenging they are and the pressure you feel in your lower abdomen and your lower back. But I had to perform seven sets here by eight reps. And not gonna lie, some of those reps in the last two sets there weren't the best, but we managed to push through and get through them. But I know for a fact that my lower back and core may be sore for the next few days because I'm already feeling that muscle soreness right after this workout. But I'm gonna enjoy this rest day tomorrow. I'm gonna hit the hot tub tonight and then I'll get back to training this weekend. All right guys, we're back, it's Saturday morning, and it's upper body day today. And today definitely didn't go as planned, but we still got some good work in. But we started here on bench press. We're up to a top end set at 236 pounds by four reps. We're supposed to hit five reps, but unfortunately I filled in that last rep. And uh, let me tell you, it was an ultimate grind. And uh, you'll see it right here as I get stuck at the midpoints. So that's a lack of triceps, but I was so close, but just not enough gas in the tank. But so that was a little bit frustrating, obviously, as you can tell, which is a bit funny, but all part of the process and just getting better. And now I know what I need to work on. But following that, we had four additional back off sets at 213 pounds by five reps. Then we moved into some back work, started out with supinated barbell rows, performed five sets at 120 pounds by 15 reps. And we cruise right through those. Definitely got challenged in the last few sets there, but we still maintained, managed to hit the uh, top end rep range number there. And then we moved on to some straight bar lat press downs, performed three sets at 52.5 pounds by 20 reps. And honestly, not wasn't that challenging. I did feel my core however, because my core is still sore from those body cells from the other day, but my form and technique is definitely improving, so that's good. Then after that, we moved on to our tricep accessory work, started out with the earthquake bar bench press, performed four sets at 138 pounds from 10 to 15 reps. And I managed to get 15 reps the first two sets, then 13, then 12. My triceps just got too fatigued, but I got more reps than I did last week with two pounds more, so that is progress. And then I finished the workout off with some decline push-ups. Had to perform 60 reps total and took me about six or seven sets, so you can bet my chest and tries were gas after this. But overall, not a bad workout, but definitely not happy with how the bench press went. But it's all part of the process, can't win them all, and we'll just look to keep improving from here.
All right, so it's Sunday morning, and you already know what day it is, leg day, and uh, we start out in squats here, worked up to a new five rep max at 325 pounds by five reps, and I'm pretty sure that's an all-time PR for me, even back in the day when I used to train um, and would do heavy weights, but my form was obviously probably terrible at that time, but glad to have hit this new five rep max, and uh, did feel challenging though, definitely more so my lower back, so it was so fatigued from those body sides the other day, but we got through it. Following that, we then had four additional back off sets, at 293 pounds by five reps, and those were just as challenging, but we got through them. Then we moved on to some Romanian deadlifts, performed four sets at 130 pounds by 20 reps. And let me tell you, it wasn't even that it was a heavy weight, but just my forearms, my grip strength, really feeling the burn from holding the weight for such a long period of time, as well as my lower back being super tight from those squats, so they were definitely fatigued. And then I finished the workout off with some reverse hyperextensions, performed five sets at 212.5 pounds by 15 reps, and these weren't too bad. Nice to ease off the workout there, but all in all, it's been a great week of workouts. Still a little bit disappointed about that bench press yesterday, but it's all part of the process and getting better, so gonna make sure to fuel up, get some rest, really dial in on my nutrition this week. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on IG, and let's just keep getting better each and every day.